Quote, page 66 of Food of the Gods by Terence McKenna. Quote, paradoxically, Ibogaine, the indole hallucinogen responsible for the pharmaco pharmacological activity of the Biwiti plant, bracket, Tabernath Iboga, and end bracket, is widely recognized both as a factor holding married couples together in the face of fang institutions like easy divorce and as an aphrodisiac. It is perhaps one of the few plants of the many dozens claimed to be aphrodisiacs that actually perform as advised. Most other candidates for the title are in fact merely stimulants that can cause a generalized arousal and sustain erection. Ibogaine seems actually to change, to deepen, and to enhance the uh, psychological mechanisms that lie behind sexual drive. One experiences simulation, sim simultaneous sense of detachment and involvement that is overpowering. Yet in situations where, where sexual activity is neither sanctioned, sanctioned nor appropriate, ebogging does not cause or even raise the possibility of sexual behavior. In, this, in these situations, it functions much as ayahuasca functions among its traditional users as a boundary dissolving visionary hallucin hallucinogen. Here is another example of research only waiting for social attitudes to change in order to be done. In the, in the impact of ibogaine on sexual dysfunction is found to be congruent with its folklore, then further research might be especially promising. These powerful plants that change our relationship to our sexuality and other view and our view of self and world are the special province of peoples whom we are accustomed to thinking uh, thinking of as primitive. This is but one more indication of the extent to which unconsciously in, in by, imbibed dominator attitudes have robbed us of participation in the wider and richer world of eros and the spirit. For easily discerned reasons, the dominator societies that arose to replace partnership societies were far less eager to suppress group sexual activities than they were to suppress the hallucinogenic mushroom religion. Group sexual activity without the dissolution of the dominator ego would help the most ego-obsessed males gain power and rise in the social hierarchy. Since dominator domination of other uh, others ultimately includes sexual domination as well this would explain the persistence of orgies and group group sexual activities in many of the mystery mystery religions at the festivals of dion dion sos and the roman satur Sat, saturnalia and within um, paganism generally long after the heart of the pagan world had ceased to beat eventually however the dominator anxiety about the about the establishing of clear lines of male paternity outweighed all other considerations then ego domination firmly achieved complete preeminence through christianities ruthless extermination of all hetero, hetero, heterodoxy orgies were organized and suppressed as the subversive boundary dissolving activities that they are